Hello, please. How is everybody doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the finale of Doki Doki Literature Club. Welcome. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. How is everybody doing? Hello to Celtic. Celtic was the first person to the stream today. You can click in the channel points. If you're the first one here and nobody has selected first, you too can be first. But today it was Celtic. Thank you so much. I see RW Gaming Boy, Essa Kiawa, the P51 pilot. Majesty, hi Majesty. It's Estella Dragon. Hello everybody, hello. Thank you so much for the follow, the Lude King. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Dragon. Hi, is every Hi everybody. Hi, Lady Shiro. How is everybody doing? Welcome, welcome. It is such a pleasure to see everybody today. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. I am doing quite well myself. I, in the middle of the night, in the middle of the night, we, we joined Kitty Anna, Astro Anot, for a little Apex Legends action in the middle of the night. That was a lot of fun. I highly recommend uh, that you check her channels out. We also played with Rebels Wow, and he carried us a little bit, but it was a lot, a lot of fun. Hi, everybody. Bonk. Thank you, thank you. Where did we leave off on the last stream? So last time on Doki Doki Literature Club. Okay, so I'm, we're about to see it. So this is what happened. So Monica and I had a nice long chat in what appeared possibly be the Astral Express from Honkai Star Rail. We were flying through the space. We were flying through space and time itself, perhaps. We were talking one-on-one. -on -one. I was forced to delete Monica from the game files. I was forced to delete Monica from the game files. And that made me very sad because Monica is the best girl. Still, still. And so what happened was Monica in her last show of will or whatnot, she restored the, the additional characters to the, to the game. So Sayori is among us, Natsuki is among us, and Yuri is among us. Yes, rip to Monica. Can we please get an F in the chat to pay respects for the best girl, Monica? F. 07 salute. Rest in peace to Monica. I hope, I hope, and I imagine we actually will perhaps see more of her in the game. I don't, I, you know, I, I would be a little shocked if Monica was truly just like gone, gone. But I am not 100% sure what's going to happen. So the game has, we have been restored to the game. We do have three other best girls. The other girls, they are excellent. They are excellent. But I'm very curious to see how it ends. I'm very, very curious and excited to see how it ends. Uh, just a reminder, I am, I am playing through this blind. I do not know the story details. I do not know... Uh, the elements I've been told I've been told that uh, a lot of the more a lot of the more sensitive material we we may have passed most of that all of the the violent particularly violent stuff so I hope everyone is is nice and comfy and ready to have our minds blown by the ending I think it's gonna be a lot of lot of fun did I just call Natsuki excellent I did I did you know she is uh She's not my favorite, but she's not so bad. She's excellent. She's excellent. All women are excellent. All women are excellent. Today's fact with, with Robin Osiria. This is the last act. Literally day one, same length as act one, day one. Yes, so here, this is where we are. We are told to create a new game. That was a little bit quicker than I was ready. Uh, that was a little bit quicker than I was ready, but 
to start the game but that is what we that is what we are happening the the intro scene is like the intro scene is like the three girls are standing there and monica is not is not there so what hey robin just go back to the main menu silly billy so this is what it looks like it appears the monica has restored the other characters to the game and she has deleted herself from the game and we are being prompted to start a new game without monica as the president of the doki doki literature club we're not sure how that is gonna go we're very curious to see how it ends hello apple the ghost and yes happy may the fourth may the fourth be with you may the force be with you welcome apple welcome may the fourth be with you is anybody doing anything fun for may the fourth day we should watch the empire strikes back what is everyone what is everyone's favorite star wars movie before we begin just to just to now that we're on now that we're on may the 4th it is may the 4th we should celebrate what is everyone's favorite star wars movie my objectively i think the best has to be the empire strikes back but my favorite is revenge of the sith my favorite is revenge of the sith one time when i was a kid the movie was in theaters as i was a kid and my friend's dad pulled us both out of school to go watch the movie in theaters it was incredible it was like incredible i had i took a red marker i drew the i drew the anakin scar anakin skywalker scar on my eye and we watched the movie i i received so many bruises from my child with the plastic lightsabers it was crazy it was crazy it's over anakin i have the high ground You were my brother, Anakin. You were meant to destroy the Sith, not join them. <laughs> Celtics watching, working a twenty-four hour shift. Oh goodness, that stinks. Sorry to hear that. I hope I hope you can find something comfortable. Do I hope you stay? I hope you stay comfy. Episode four is a classic. It is the quintessential Star Wars film. It is the quintessential Star Wars film. Of course, that is the first one that everyone ever, ever, ever heard of. Have you all heard of the Machete Order? Have you all heard of the Machete Order of Star Wars? We're we're gonna put, we're gonna start the game very very quickly. I, I'm gonna post it in the chat. Some folks are saying that this is, and I tend to agree. I tend to agree. I think this may be the best way to watch Star Wars. Episode four, you meet Luke and Leia, Han Solo, Darth Vader, Ben Kenobi. Episode five, you find out. Assuming, of course, that this person somehow does not know that Luke Skywalker is... Darth, or Darth Vader is Luke's assuming this person does not know that Darth Vader is Luke Skywalker's father which those people actually may exist you know I still haven't finished Doki Doki Literature Club so strange people exist on this planet but after you find out the twist then you go back in time to episode two to see Darth Vader as Anakin Skywalker and then three to see how he fell to the dark side and then six to see how Luke manages to redeem him what do we think? What about episode one? Episode one is nonsense. Episode one is nonsense. See, I, I actually enjoy the world building of episode one. Like, I actually do all the, all the like nerdy shit about uh, Nabooian politics actually intrigues me. It actually like tickles, tickles me. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that it is required viewing for, for, the Star Wars saga, you know, it's like an additional re prologue, perhaps. There's what happens. What really happens in Phantom Menace that that carries over and affects the rest of 
the rest of the saga. You can pick up the stuff from... You can pick up the stuff from... You can pick up context clues of what happened in Phantom Menace from the other films. That's my thinking. That's my thinking. Bye-bye, pilot. Please take your cat to the vet. Please let us know how they're doing. Please take care of that. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I hope your cat is well. I hope your cat is well. Ah. What a good May the 4th. What a good May the 4th. I'm not such a fan of, of current Disney, though. I haven't even finished the latest season of The Mandalorian. I stopped, like, halfway through. Well, shall we, folks? Shall we see how the story of the Doki Doki Literature Club ends? Is there anybody else here that doesn't know? Or am I the only one? Is it just me? In the year 2023, is it just me? Bonk. <laughs> just me all right makes sense hey you know what i understand let's see i'm very curious to see how the story of the doki doki literature club and its girls end it's an ordinary school day like any other as usual i'm surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. Hey, Robin. Well, there already is one girl. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. Isn't she? Isn't she nice to see? We've never. I've never been so happy to see Sayori in my life. I think the last time we saw, the last couple times we've seen Sayori, we were so happy to see her. I've. I've truly never been so happy to see Sayori in my life. We used to walk together to school every day. Recently, we picked up that habit once again. Robin, are you proud of me? I am proud of you. I'm proud of her. I'm proud of her. She's back. Back. For what? You know, for waking up on time. You have been doing that for a while now. Uh-huh. You never even said anything about it. Even though we walk to school together every day. Well, yeah. I always thought that it was implied. It's embarrassing to say out loud. Come on, please. Things have been going to crap without her. As soon as she... This is an important character in the Doki Doki Literature Club multiverse. As soon as Sayori left the Literature Club in the way that she did... That, that was the true mark of when things began to go downhill. It's good motivation. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Sayori. I'm proud of you, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Robin... Have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm not really... I start to say what I always do, that I'm not interested in joining any clubs. Something tells me Sayori would take more offense to that now. After all, how could I tell her that clubs are a waste of time? When she's starting a club of her very own, what club is she starting? Actually, yeah, I think I've decided on a club. Really? Look at her shock face. Which one? Tell me. Hmm. I think I'll keep it a surprise. Ooh. You meanie. Be patient. You'll find out soon enough. I used to ask myself why I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl. But I started to realize that, in a way, I envy her. 
When Sayori puts her mind to something, she can accomplish great things. That's why I feel like I should do something special for her. Gosh, it's nice to have Sayori back. Gosh, it's nice to have Sayori back. My heart is full. My heart is full. It sounded like she was maybe starting a club. Is she going to start the Doki Doki Literature Club? The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stand up, gathering my motivation. Let's see. I recall the room number of the club from a flyer I saw. I walk across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Before long, I find the room. I timidly open the door in front of me. Hello? Ah? Uh, Robin? W what are you doing here? Well, I just... Uh? I glance around the room. Huh? So you're the Robin that Siori's always talking about? Thank you for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you, Robin. Oh my gosh. We're the Literature Club. The girls are alive and well. The girls are alive and well. Most of them. Most of them. Glad to see that the simping, simping isn't happening. Is that is that Sayori simping for the main character? Is that what you mean? Yeah, there's no simping occurred. She's just vibing out. Life is good without Monica. No, Estella, you break my heart. I know, I know. But I think that's probably, that's probably the point that they're, that's probably the point that they're gonna try and make, aren't they? Is, is life better without Monica? Is that the point that they're, they're gonna try to prove or disprove? That's the, is that the hypothesis that we're gonna test in this, this, this go around? Yeah, the MC's not simping either. We're the Literature Club. I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. He's gonna think we're really strict or something. Uh, sorry, Natsuki. The tall one, whose name is apparently Yuri, seems to be quite shy compared to the others. In comparison, the girl named Natsuki, despite her size, small small parenthesis and per compare the girl named natsuki despite her size seems like the assertive one well it's nice to meet both of you i look forward to working with you w working robin don't tell me you're that's right the club i've decided to join is yours sayori the literature club sayori's eyes light up no way no way! Ah! Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! <laughs> well, if Sayori is this happy, then I'm sure it won't be bad to have you around. Yes, the MC actually is being a cutie. What? I'm. Is the MC aware of any of this meta meta business? Is he? Is he aware that he's on like try number three? You know? Has he? Has he picked? Has he learned some, has he picked up some clues along the way? I'm not sure. It kind of feels like it, it kind of feels like it. His, his, his game, his friendship game, his sipping game a little bit, a little bit. Uh, he's, he's, he's better at communicating. He's better at communicating. Each time, it feels like, it feels like. Not to mention there's four of us now. That means we can become an officially recognized club. I don't know what to say. We both, we have to celebrate. <laughs> what an appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah. After all, Natsuki decided to. Hey, don't ruin the surprise. <laughs> Sorry. 
Everyone sit down at the table, okay? How about I make some tea as well, please? The oolong tea bangs. The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room, where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? I lo look at her grin. Isn't her grin precious? We should have protected this smile the first time around. I thought I was talking about Sayori. I thought this was Sayori. I thought this was Sayori. I don't know where, I, I don't know. Do I like Natsuki? I thought I was describing Sayori. Am I the only one who, gosh, when Natsuki smiles, she kind of gives Sayori, right? I'm not crazy, right? I'm not crazy, I'm not crazy, right? She's cute when she isn't grumpy, so true. Maybe, maybe she just needs to make cupcakes all the time. That's the, that's the situation. Ta-da! Whoa! Atsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute. Wow, those look amazing. <laughs> well, you know, just hurry and take one. Sayori grabs one first, and then I follow. It's delicious. Sayori talks with her mouthful, mouthful and has already managed to get icing on her face. Atsuki is cute, but Yuri has my heart. I understand. I respect, I respect, I respect your choice of Doki Doki anime woman. I do. I still, I'm a, I'm still a mon. If I had to pick somebody other than Monica, mine would be Yuri. I would be Yuri. I feel like I could have a very comfortable silence with Yuri. You know, we could just not talk to each other and, and hang out and do stuff. I mean, that's explicitly what happens in the game. But, you know, we're just kind of vibing out. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Well, of course it is. I'm a pro after all. There's no need to thank me or anything. As Natsuki struggles to accept a compliment, Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea... Uh, ah, after all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? I guess. <laughs> Already trying to impress our new member, Yuri? Uh, that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know, I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. As a baker, Natsuki naturally waited for a rating. Exactly, exactly. No, it's like you, you make something for someone, you, you want them to try it. You want to make sure that it's not like absolutely physically or emotionally revolting, you know? As long as you don't commit any food crimes, you're probably good. Yeah, she she wanted she wanted approval. She wanted approval that her cupcakes were good. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So Robin, what kinds of things do you like to read? 
Well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga, I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. Telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. You'll have to hunt down cupcakes and tea. Thinking about dinner at 9.30 a.m., you are in danger. My brother, you are in danger. You are in danger. I had chicken tenders and a Sonic like ice cream, you know Sonic drive-in? This restaurant, they got all sorts of shit. So, but I have a Oreo like milkshake thing. Mm-hmm. That's that good stuff. Have you ever woke up like hungover? Have you ever woke up hungover? And now I don't drink anymore. I used to. Have you ever woke up hungover? And like you just immediately need like greasy, greasy like dinner food, like a burger or something. Like you wake up and you're like, time to door dash something. I'm gonna die. That's how your boy, that's how I'm visualizing you right now. Wake up hungover, order burger at 10 a.m. Yep, so true. Mr. Beast Burger, there's a location near you. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. You know, I like a lot of things. Don't feel intimidated if you don't read much, okay? I'm certain we could find something that we have in common. Hey, Yuri? Uh, well, about, you know, the first thing he said. Manga? That's right. Natsuki tends to read manga in the club room. No, don't just say it. For some reason, Natsuki seems embarrassed about it. Besides, manga is literature too, you know? So if Robin wants to read some of my manga, then don't try to stop him or anything. Natsuki. You know what? You know what I just realized? Did did some did some folks enjoy Natsuki because she was like a manga reader? Is that why, you know, if I was a manga reader, in the same way that I was kind of drawn to Yuri because she likes deep, complex stories and stuff, the people who like really enjoy manga were they just like, oh yeah, the Natsuki, Natsuki's my girl. Is that how they, is that, is that how it went down? Now I want burger. Chat, everybody order a burger. I'll order, I won't order a burger in solidarity. We can have a burger. We can have cupcakes. We can have tea. Burger. Yes, yeah, she is the manga reader. Yuri is the horror. Yeah. There are no deliveries. Celtic has pizza. Celtic has pizza. You'll have a tea. I keep meaning to actually like make tea. Y'all, please, folks, someone please recommend me tea that I can make for like a stream tomorrow i'll probably like pick it up tomorrow i'll probably pick it up tomorrow and like have a tea tomorrow because i enjoy hot beverages i enjoy caffeinated beverages the coffee at night is like it's like a little too much enjoy your tea folks enjoy your tea i wouldn't do such a thing however it could also be nice for us to diversify ourselves a little he could take this opportunity to try something new as well. Wouldn't you agree, Robin? Maybe. Sensing the tension, Theory jumps in. Maybe we can all try something new. I think it could be fun. 
and we'll all get to know each other a little bit better too. I mean, that's the kind of thing literature clubs do, right? I don't disagree or anything. Yeah, you're right as usual, President. <laughs> Guess that means I should try picking up a novel or something, huh? Well, that would make two of us. Tea out of the Boston Harbor? Hey, that's a, that's an idea. Can you hook, can folks hook me up with some of the tea out of the Boston Harbor? The black tea with a side of patriotism? Sounds delicious. I wouldn't mind it doing it if I'm not the only one. Then as for Yuri, are, are non-Americans familiar with the Boston Tea Party? Are y'all are non-Americans familiar with the Boston Tea Party? I'm going to I'm going to give like a quick cliff notes, right? So America is basically a country now because our tea imports for Britain were priced so high that we basically said fuck you. We're not paying your tea import tax and we dumped all that shit in the harbor and it started an inter intercontinental war. It started an intercontinental war and it was based as fuck. It was awesome. It was awesome. So if you have some tea out of the Boston Tea, tea Party, you know, it comes with a side of patriotism. America is ba What did I say? <laughs> yeah, why are they teaching American civil and revolutionary war in Australian education? It doesn't make any sense. Why would they do that? I'll tell you, they, you know, we have like world history. We have like world history classes in America, but they really do not be teaching us shit about you guys. They really do not be teaching us shit about you guys. Americans are very self-centric and that's because it's like all we know. America is basically a country now. <laughs> I need to get a like quotes thing. Here in Brazil, we know everything about everyone. I I enjoy Brazil. I enjoy Brazil. I enjoy I enjoy Brazil's enthusiasm. Also, Brazilian cosplayers are like awesome. Austra Brazilian cosplayers, like uh, Brazilian, Argentinian, and stuff. Like there are like a bunch of weebs in Brazil. Estela, why are there so many weebs in Brazil? What is the I don't know. They're like grown differently. We're getting we're getting unhinged, folks. It's it's having a lot of fun. I'm the literature club, the literature club. The music like inspires me to be a little unhinged. We just have we we appreciate the Brazilian energy. We we appreciate the Brazilian energy. As for Yuri, I I have to read manga. Jeez, we're the one who suggested we diversify. You should be a little more open-minded. These two these two are gonna these two are like Batman and the Joker. They are just gonna fight each other to the end of time, no matter what. No matter what is going on in their lives, you know, no matter what universe, these two are going to catfight to the end of time. And it's kind of hurtful. Hurtful? I didn't realize. With a guilty expression, Yuri thinks to herself, I'm sorry for disrespecting your interests, Natsuki. If, if you're into it, then I'm sure it's a worthy form of literature. Are you just saying that? No, I've realized my error. So if you're willing to consider starting a novel, I'll offer my gratitude by finding a manga to read as well. Really? I mean, it makes me happy that you do that for me, Yuri. You could trust me to find something that you'll really like, okay? Same here. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after the club meeting. 
Just you? Ah, uh, would you like to come along with me? Hmm? If you don't mind. Not at all. I always go alone, so... Me too. This is so cute! This is so cute! Did you hear my excitement as I realize how cute they are? This is so cute! Sayori, shut up. I'll show you some manga there too, okay? Yes. I look forward to it. Natsuki and Yuri start to clean up the food. <laughs> I guess the meeting's over, huh? It looks like it. It's nice to see everyone getting along. Yes, I also love that they're all so happy. It's painful that a world without Monica. It, it may be better. It may be better. It certainly, so far, at least appears to be better. Which is sad, because we like Monica. But, you know, perhaps having an all-knowing entity that has access to the video game files may not be the best, may not be the most conductive environment for a literature club. Isn't it nice to see everyone getting along? I think everyone likes you too, Robin. You think so? Well, everyone always seems to get along a little bit better with you around, Sayori. So fucking true. Aw, oh, Robin. Don't say something like that. It's embarrassing. Well, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club. But I think you're pulling it off just fine. We're here to make it the best club ever. Now that you joined, every day is going to be so much fun. Hey, Robin. I really want to thank you. I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything. But the truth is, I already knew you were going to. <laughs> There's actually something else. I wanted to thank you for getting rid of Monica. That's right. I know everything that she did. Maybe it's because I'm the president now. But I really know everything, Robin. <laughs> I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. I know about all the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad. None of that matters anymore. It's just us now. And you made me the happiest girl in the whole world. I can't wait to spend every day like this. With you. Forever and ever. F. O. R. E. I actually jumped. B. E. No. Just say Ori. Just say Ori. Okay. What's happening? I won't let you hurt him. Who hurts? Uh. I'm sorry. I was wrong. This has to be Monica. This has to be Monica, right? There's no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Sayori. Goodbye, Robin. Goodbye, Literature Club. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah. <clears throat> Hi, it's me. Um, so you know how I've been like 
practicing piano and stuff. Wait, what? And not that's really a hu that's a human voice. Like at all. But I wrote you a song and I was kind of hoping that I could show it to you because I worked really really hard on it. So, yeah. I'm stunned. I'm stunned. It's so it's so strange to hear a, another voice. Every day I imagine a future where I can be with you. In my hand is a pen that'll write a poem of me and you. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. Oh my goodness. What will it take just to find that special day? What will it take just to find that special day? That special day. Have I found everybody upon the sign? What a video game. What a video game. So what is the... Oh, I see. Oh, I see. She's deleting the files. Image not found. This game is so good. This game is so good. I survived the experience. Thank you. Thank you for joining the literature club with me chat. Thank you for joining the literature club for me with me. This was really a really, really fantastic experience. This was really, really a fantastic experience. We're not, we're not done. We're not done. We are, um, we're going to watch some of some videos. We're going to watch the videos together. Um, but let's talk about this. This is, this is incredible. Bye bye, Chibis. Bye bye, PNG Tuber Literature Club members. Yes, we're gonna we're gonna watch the videos. I loved this. I love this. This is probably gonna be my like monitor. Fun fact: Doki Doki Literature Club merch exists. I need it. Apple, didn't you mention that you had a Monica poster? I'll leave you be. Made with love by Team Salvato. This is my final goodbye to the Literature Club. I fully understand. The Literature Club is truly a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, it continued to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality. Reality? That our world is not designed to comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo that same hellish epiphany. For the time it lasted, I wanted to thank you. For making all of my dreams come true. For being a friend to all of the club members. Most of all, thank you for being a part of my literature club. With everlasting love, Monica. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. I was using I was using Doki Doki as a I was just leaving the game open. That was my BGM. That was my BGM. Very crazy. Very, very, very crazy.
we are going to watch the videos give me just one moment we are going to move to just chatting and we are going to watch some videos what i'm going to do folks what i'm going to do is okay hold on before we go nobody go anywhere nobody go anywhere the stream is not complete but i do want to say farewell to our friends on youtube there have been more people than normal watching the doki doki literature playthroughs on youtube i wanted to say hello you people thank you so much for experiencing this game with us i hope you have enjoyed the game i am i'm very confused and i'm very moved by this experience and we are we are going to talk about it more later and thank you so much for watching this has been fantastic and i hope you have a great day thank you and bye-bye now